Hey guys, it's another lawn update. You see the grass is growing in. Of course, this one's cut a little bit higher. This is cut a little shorter so I can make it uh, grow faster. Um, today I'm gonna aerate. So, I'm gonna get on this tractor here and get my aerate machine, which is out there in the back. And uh, show you some footage of aerating, overseeding, fertilizing. And that's pretty much it. done here um, I've aerated the whole yard and I'm just gonna show you some plugs that's that's uh, that it's bringing up see oh it just broke but this plug was like that you know about the size of my hand and these plugs these little ones are from this, the weasel, and it's for the little tight spots you can't reach. So that's that. Now I'm going to be uh, spreading some seed around. All right. So I got the seed. I got the spreader. I'm going to be spreading some Princess 77 Bermuda seed. All right, guys, now that that's done, I am going to be spreading some uh, organite and I'm going to be cutting it with some starter fertilizer 24254. What I mean by cutting it is one tenth this bag for every bag of my Loganite. So let me just calculate that real quick and then uh, we'll spread it out there. All right, so I'm done. This is what it looks like mixed up. It's one tent starter fertilizer to my Lorganite. So now I'll just spread this baby around. And then I'll water. That's about it. Well, I finished with the fertilizer. 
So now, it's out of breath, excuse me. It's gonna water. Why this is like, my lawn is like this, where it's only green on this side, like this, this way, is because when we first moved here, all this was good soil. It was that, I don't know if you can see those black mounds out there. I dug a trench out there to help with flooding. So their water gutters drain into there, not into my yard, because that house over there, their gutter is, is uh, incorrect. And before there was any house here, this was an old roping arena for horses. And that house right there, their gutter is angled across. Instead of going north to south, like the, his his house right here, his house goes north to south. His goes from the northeast to the southwest this way. So when we get heavy, heavy rain, he has a hilltop. I don't, you can't really see it. It looks all flat, but he has a hilltop back there, and it slopes down to down here. This is flat land this way, but over there he has a hilltop. So all that rain just comes with force down these gutters, and his gutter, and just shoots into my front yard. So. Whenever we were gonna put this house here, I had him dig a huge hole, which is, um, you'll see this dirt mound up back here. And uh, I've never explained it, but I might as well go ahead and explain it now. That dirt mound that's way back there in the back, let's see if I can zoom into it instead of walking all the way back there. That dirt mound, okay. Right where that dirt mound sits was a hole I had him dig. And I had him dig a hole with a back hole. And it was maybe about 20 feet long and 25 feet deep and maybe 20 foot wide so 20 by 20 by 25 feet deep and uh i know right people just like to dig holes back here and all that dirt i had them raise up the land so as they were digging the hole they got that nice rich topsoil and they spread it here and they built it up Spread it again, higher, 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 higher. Well then, when they started getting deeper into the hole, they started hitting clay. So they got that clay, and they spread the clay all the way up to those, to those trees right there. And the clay is like this, and, he, and there's a little downslope into my yard. Right where the trees end, that's the highest part of my yard, and to about where that swing set is over there. That swing set over there. Okay, so kind of like a square, like that. This way, it's higher. Well, they let they put the, the dirt, and then eventually they got to the clay, and they just piled the clay, piled it and piled it and piled it. So when I was gonna do this, all this was clay, and it still is a lot of clay, but I've been you know amending it, tilling it, throwing topsoil on it. So when I first got the lawn, when I wanted to do the grass, I plant, I threw a bunch of topsoil hill here and I tilled it. And except for that area right there and it grew except for the parts that were it was clay because that was just tilled clay I didn't throw topsoil like I did on this side this side grew this side did not so now hopefully spreading the topsoil tilling it aerating doing all this stuff I'm doing I'm, uh, I'm even composting now hopefully the clay is not as bad as it used to be and my grass can grow evenly at least somewhat evenly and fair and uh that, that, that's that's why this is really really rich and green and that's kind of shady is because it's it's mainly clay hopefully over the years fertilizing top dressing and everything you know it'll all settle down and equal out but that, that's pretty much it that's that's why i have this problem here just in case y'all are wondering why the hell this is green and that's like ugly but that that's that's the problem it's all the same grass it's just that this has topsoil and it was tilled and tilled and tilled and composted and then the seed was laid and this wasn't. So I guess I should have just tilled it all and topsoiled it all and started from scratch there, but I was kind of running hard to get along. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.